Hello, welcome back to my channel, the Grace for Comfort channel. It's still your ghost girl, Kifi Dumuji. And today, I'll be talking about DNA paternity test because I've been finding that topic very interesting in the late times. A lot of stories have been springing up about um, paternity issues in the families. There be issues and stories whereby a father discovers his whole children, four of them, five of them, three of them, or only child does not belong to him. And I began to wonder, was DNA test meant to just um, identify your children? No, but um, the DNA paternity test helps you confirm paternity of your children. Okay, so but in recent time, a lot of people happen to have discovered that their children do not belong to them, the parent, the father especially. And it left me to wonder, why is this now rampant? Why is it now common for anyone who goes for a paternity test to discover that the children are not his? And I was left with one answer. It means there is no more fear of God in the homes. So homes are there and the man and the woman are living their lives just the way they want. Because if they fear the Lord, they will have love and they will have reasons not to be unfaithful to one another. And maybe or perhaps the woman herself do not fear the Lord. A virtuous woman is a woman who fears the Lord and keeps her home. A virtuous woman is a woman who will flee from infidelity and be faithful to her husband. Let us leave the men out of this story for now. So the woman, a woman should be a good woman, a virtuous woman, to stick to her husband. So one word. DNA paternity test has so many reasons why it may have been founded or created or why the founder may have discovered or researched such an important technology for us to ascertain probably missing children or lost um, uh, lost children or something, but those days we use mainly to ascertain paternity. Why? Because of infidelity. Because if you are faithful, you will be needing to check out for a paternity to your children. So I want to leave one word with you today. Please try to make sure there is love and fear of God in your families. That way we will grow to have better homes and we won't be needing or requiring to do DNA just to ascertain paternity. Alright, so see you in my next video. I hope you think about yourself today and, this, and decide to live a better life and a faithful life to your spouse, whoever it may be, male or female. God bless you and shalom. See you in my next video.